Hey everyone, Tom Drapala here, registered social security analyst, helping families plan for their social security so that they can have the financial freedom and enjoy the peaceful retirement that they deserve. Today, I have a very special announcement. If you wanna learn more about the complexities of social security and you wanna enjoy a great read, there's a new book that just came out called Avoiding Social Insecurity, The Retirement You Deserve, The Social Security You've Earned. That's the name of the book. Really great uh, read. Uh, by Martha Shedden. It's going to be free today. That's right, free. You can download it for free. Uh, I'll put the link in the description below so that you can click on that and get your free version of that book. Really great read, really great understanding of Social Security and retirement planning, uh, and I think you'll really enjoy it. So feel free to click the link in the description. I'll also uh, add the link in the comments, and please give it a good read, give it a good review, and I'm sure that you will enjoy it. So if you're just joining us, if you miss, m missed the last two videos, we started talking about how to calculate your Social Security benefits. This is the third and final step in calculating your benefits. So if you missed the first two videos, Go back, watch the first video, then watch the second, and this will make a lot more sense. We're in the third and final step here of calculating your Social Security benefits. So um, just to recap, the first step was understanding which years count towards uh, calculating your benefit. And that would be your highest 35 years of your index and face value earnings. Again, you can learn more in the first video about that if you're just joining us. And we got a sum of $2,300,000. That is the sum of this person's uh, highest 35 indexed years. Now, the second part we talked about in video two was understanding AIME or the average index monthly earnings. So for the average index monthly earnings based on the sum, again, the sum, you're dividing that by 420, which is the number of months in 35 years. And we have our AIME, average index monthly earnings of 5,476. Now, the last step and the step we're gonna be talking about today is understanding PIA. PIA stands for primary insurance amount, and it's simply the monthly amount you would receive at your FRA or full retirement age. Okay, so uh, I'm going to kind of take you through this last step in a way that's breaking it down to get to your primary insurance amount, and then you'll be able to understand what your Social Security benefit will be at your full retirement age. And then, of course, there's reductions and delayed retirement credits from there, but the first step is finding out what your primary insurance amount is that's based on all of your other uh, increases or reductions of taking early. Okay, so it all starts with having an understanding of the sum of the highest 35 years as well as the average index monthly earnings. So we're gonna take the average index monthly earnings and again, that is the 5,476. Now it's important to know that each person has uh, different bend points. And this is what PIA is uh, calculated from, is three different uh, bend point a formula calculation, okay? And everyone has different bend points depending on the year that they were born. So once you reach age 62, or have reached age 62, those are the bend points for that specific person. So if you turn 62 in 2022, the bend points are $1,024, and the second bend point is $6,172. Now we're gonna break this down in a way you can understand. So the way the bend points work is that they work with the aim, the 5,476. So essentially there's three bend points in the formula calculation. There's 90% of the first bend point, 32% of the second bend point, and then 15% of the third bend point. And again, we wanna kind of break this down into English and really understand what this means, right? So again, it's all based off of this average index monthly earnings. So you're gonna take this amount, the 5,476, and you're gonna use these two bend point of amounts, okay? So the first bend point is $1,024. So you're going to take 90% of the first $1,024. So the first bend point would be $1,024 times 90%. So the first bend point is $922. Now for the second bend point at 32%, you're taking the amount that is between 6,172 and 1,024. Now, you'll only do that if this AIM amount is above this number, okay? Since it's below that, 
you're going to take the average index monthly earning amount and subtract it from the $1,024. So when you do that, you get $4,452. Okay, now the $4,452 then gets multiplied by 32%, and in that segment, you get $1,425. Now, what you would normally do is, if this average index monthly earnings was above this amount, then you would take, let's say it was $7,000, then the last spend point for the 15% would be $7,000, minus the 61.72, and then you would, whatever that is, you would times that by the 15% to get the third bend point. But in this case, there is no third bend point. So then you just uh, add these two together and you get 1,425 plus 922. So in this case, 2347, and this would be that person's PIA, okay? So essentially, again, we're breaking it down into three different steps. The first step is getting this sum amount. You get that sum amount by adding up a person's highest 35 index and face value years. And then once you get that sum amount, you take it to step two. Step two is understanding what the average index monthly earnings is, which is taking that sum amount. You're dividing it by 420, which is the number of months in 35 years, and you're getting the 5,476. Now, the last step here is understanding how that aim turns into the PIA. So again, you're taking that aim here, the two bend points for 2022. Again, you have to be 62 uh, in 2022 to get these bend points. If you're not yet 62, your bend points don't even exist yet, and they'll exist in the year that you turn 62. And each year they come out with specific bend points. And if you're 62 in that specific year, you might have been 62 five years ago. You're going to want to look up what those bend points are and use them into this calculator. But for 2022, if you're age 62, your bend points are 1,024 and 6,172. Overall, you're getting 90% of the first bend point, 32% of the amount between the second and the first. In this particular case, since there is no first, it's going to be 5,476 minus that, and that is going to be the 4,452 times the 32%, and that is how you get your second bend point. Now, again, because this aim number is not above this uh, second bend point, you do not do the third uh, 15%, and so the primary insurance amount in this case is 2,347, which is the 922 and the 1425 combined. So with all that being said, yes, it's still kind of confusing and there's a lot of things going on here. And that's why we make it as simple for you as possible. We have our own social security planner where you can actually go in and you can put in your own earnings and it'll literally shoot out this exact calculation for your particular situation. With social security, it should be personalized. Everyone has a different situation. Social security planning shouldn't be done in a vacuum. So click the link in the description below. I'll also add it in the comments where you can click on the link, put your earnings in, and it'll shoot out this calculation so you can understand what your primary insurance amount is, as well as every single amount from age 62 through 70, what those reductions are, what the increases are. And this is gonna be really helpful in the first step in your planning. So feel free to click the link in the description to do that or in the comments. And also, if this is something that uh, you might think you need a little extra help with, you can work with me and my team uh, directly. We'll help you with every step of the way, benefit calculations, putting a personalized report for you together, and having a consultation with you, making sure that you understand what the best Social Security strategy is for you. Um, so again, thank you everyone for your time with calculating your benefits. Hopefully on the next segment, we'll get into something a little more entertaining. Obviously, Social Security is one of those things where it's not always fun, but again, this is important for your retirement. So uh, if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to the channel, click the notifications bell, and I'll see you next time.